welcome back to Vigor. It is your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. Welcome to my favorite map in the game, Gauntan Valley. It is beautiful, it is balanced, and you don't hear complete and total headassery every 30 seconds. It's a calm map. It's a nice, calm, and balanced map. A river separates the middle of the map. You got four quadrants split up by a bridge. North, east, south, and west. And there's loot pretty much in every single quadrant. So I'm going to go out on a hunch here. And I'm going to say, this map, fully boosted, is probably the best map to find food. Because there are two separate foresty areas. Well, I mean, I say that. Descent is also in the game as well. So, I mean, yeah, that map is entirely a forest. But regardless, we're not here to talk about Descent. We're here talking about Grand Town Valley. I'm done talking about Grand Town Valley. I'm here with my trusty HBRT. My trusty HBRT. And as a matter of fact, I need to rename that damn thing. I need to stop calling it an HBRT. I need to call it like, I don't know, Jet Bar K or some shit. I don't fucking know. You know what? Y'all help me with that. Y'all help me with that. Give my HBRT a name in the comment section down below because I might start calling that shit whatever y'all call it in the comment section. And I mean that because I use it so much, I got to give it a name. You know what I'm saying? However, there is one weakness that I display for you all every, what, 10, 12 hours? My weakness is scoped weapons. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, Jet, what the fuck are you talking about? What do scopes give off? Glint. What do other weapons not give off? Glint. How do you get killed in this game? By... by being seen what is the easiest way to be seen glint keep that shit in mind as, as this encounter unfolds and yes before you ask the ADR 97 also gives off glint the L86 gives off glint as well if it has a scope it gives off glint so I'm running back through here and the reason why I'm doing that is because I believe, I believe I may be able to catch somebody going for the time safe. Because think about it, somebody else spawns deep in that forest, right? So wouldn't it make sense for them to uh, run this way and get the safe? That That's what I'm thinking. Unless I'm mistaken and there's no safe down here. But if it's not down here, somebody still is going to run out that forest and try to enter the town for this very very obvious ass entrance through here now I'm approaching on one knee or crouch walking rather don't hear any footsteps get the fertilizer check this house yeah there's no time safe here I don't know what the fuck I was talking about but there is a comm station but there's also the sound of nothingness but it's okay though it's okay the game is relatively early you know what I'm saying and the spawns are not that close to each other like how some of the other maps are so it's okay it's all right so I'm going to open this door close the door continue looting and actually playing the fucking game but then somebody uses the detector which is right there on top of that barn so I aim and this happens. Thank you. 
let me tell you all something. Let me jog your memory. Let me try to jog your memory. Do y'all remember, like, their old PS2 games and somewhat early PS3 games where you had to face a boss in a level or some shit like that that always knew where you were or had, like, the right idea of where you were? Example, the end for Metal Gear Solid 3. In any of the Metal Gear series, like, think about an enemy that cone of vision was permanently yellow. That is what this shit felt like. That is what this felt like right here. This guy was near the detector. All he had to do was spam it to find out where I was at. But, as much as that shit worked, somebody else is here too with an ADR. Why does that shit work? Why? You're up there, broad daylight, broad moonlight, you know what I'm saying, on a barn. A barn roof of no cover. Why does that shit work? Remember what I told you at the very beginning of the video? Glint will get you killed. To this guy's credit, to this guy's credit, he was a fucking good shot. Good ass shot. But, it can be a good shot all you want to. That lady says at the very beginning of this game, when he first booted up, one shot to the head, and it's all over. To those of you who remember the days when I would teach you all the tactics that I would use, well, this is a 2022 version. What you just saw was A, the after image effect brought by uh, Dragon Ball Z, Budokai, Tenkaichi, or Budokai series, you know what I'm saying? In combination with the art of relocation. He was down there in that shed because he thought I was still behind those rocks and those trees, which I'm looking at right now. That's why he was down there. He thought I was down there, but I wasn't. And to my streamer viewers or stream viewers uh, happiness, I'm going to say too, I'll pull it off the half circle meta as well. You know what I'm saying? How I play, it's all about deception. It's all about deception and minimal margin for error. Minimal. So that's how I came out of that one alive. With the guy's magnum on my hip. As, Keith, as Chief Keith once said, thing on my hip, A. Hey. But now, more important matters have arisen. There was a guy with an ADR shooting suspiciously close to my location when I was in that barn. He didn't die. We didn't hear any gunshots. He's still alive. But where did he go? Where did he go? Now, normally I would advise stealthing in the open. Well, not advise, but normally I would not advise stealthing in the open. You know, crouch walking and shit like that in the middle of an open field. Normally I wouldn't, but this is Guantan Valley at night. There are trees abound. There are bushes abound. There are rocks abound. I'm thinking that this guy is freaking prone behind a rock waiting for somebody to steal an airdrop. I mean, hey, the last second meta done kicked in. You see the radiation is pretty much covering up half the map. But then I hear that. That's the sound of a booby trap on that airdrop. So he's there. And now he has it. And you hear him running away. So I'm thinking, Magnum or H bar T? Well, Magnum will stun him. And I think about it, I think about it, and I say, wait. I could have shot him right here, but he was already moving. Already moving, and I need to give higher bullet drop compensation for that, for that shit to hit. But then I have an even more, I guess, wholesome idea. Why not use this guy as a guinea pig? I'm going to follow him. 
but not too close. Because, and I'm going to call this the highway patrol mentality. If somebody flies past you doing 100, and you over here doing 75, and down six miles down the road, the highway turns into a red light, and you see the guy sitting there, there must be no cops on the stretch of road. You know what I'm saying? So, the game way of putting that is this. If this guy makes it all the way to that exit and not get shot at, don't hear crows, don't hear any gunshots, then obviously the exit is safe. That can leave out that way too. However, there is a bit of uh, opportunity in this strategy. If you see them and they stop for a minute, check their map for some strange fucking reason, you can shoot at them and you have an easier chance of killing them. Because, look at your health. Their health is a little bit above yours. But you gotta drop on them. Okay, that's crows. But, that's me activating the crows. Nobody's here. And I know that for a fact, because he made it smooth in here. Like, in the exit, and didn't get shot at. So that was just me activating the crows. So it's fine. What matters is that you survive. Not how many people you kill, and this is all my opinion, your mileage may vary. What matters is that you survive. No matter how many people you kill, what matters is did you survive and how much XP did you get? Because at the end of the day, in my opinion, XP is all that we're grinding for. And so, I'll take this 1.3k XP, and I'll take the guy's magnum. Again, he was a fucking good shot. But why was he a good shot? Well, 80% of him knows how to aim. But the 20% was my fault. I gave off Glint with my H-bar T. That's why he was able to land such good shots on me. He almost killed me. So, I'm not going to sit here and say he was a bad player. He was a really good player. Really good player. I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. And I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Until next time, peace.